In the early 2000s, neuroscientists hooked up creative people to brain scanners, expecting to find the creativity center, some magical brain region that lights up during genius moments. Instead, they discovered something that completely destroys how most companies approach innovation. And it explains why your brainstorming sessions suck. What they found wasn't one creative center, but two brain networks. The executive control network, your focused analytical mind that narrows down the options, and the default network, your wondering, daydreaming, what if brain that generates wild possibilities. True creativity is about rapid switching between them. Focus intensely, then let your mind drift. Converge on solutions, then diverge into new territories. It's like mental jazz, structure and improvisation in perfect rhythm. But here is where most organizations get it catastrophically wrong. They throw everyone into a conference room and demand instant collaboration. Let's brainstorm, they announce. And as if creativity operates on meeting schedules, it doesn't. Psychologists tested this assumption and found something shocking. Groups consistently performed worse than individuals working alone. The reasons are brutal. People wait their turn, judge ideas in real time, conform to group thinking, and never get the mental space needed for genuine exploration. Your brain's creative networks can't perform their delicate dance while simultaneously managing social dynamics, reading room politics, and competing for airtime. It's like trying to compose music when someone's shouting directions at you. The group brainstorm is the perfect example of superficial problem solving. The problem is we need creative ideas. The obvious solution is get people together and make them be creative. But this completely misunderstands how creativity actually works. The breakthrough insight? Let people wander in solitude first, then collaborate. Give individual space to engage both their focused and wandering minds without social interference. Let the creative dance happen before asking people to explain the steps. Great ideas aren't born in conference rooms. They're born in minds that have space to think, freedom to wonder, and safety to share their ideas.